Hey y'all, so I just wanted to make a quick video talking about Queen and Clarence. Just because, like, I feel so bad for her. I feel like she's put in, like, a hard space because I see people saying that Queen is, like, I mean, yeah, Queen is being mentally and physically abused by Clarence. He's, like, controlling and he's manipulative. And I just feel so bad for her. And I feel bad for him, too. Because they are in a new relationship. They got a baby now. It's like they trying to do their own thing. But it's people that's like basically trying to tear them down. Now, as far as their family situation, I'm not going to talk about that. Because I just feel like nobody really knows what's going on within their family. Nobody really knows what's going on within her and Clarence's relationship. But it's just like... I just feel like people shouldn't make assumptions, you know, based off of YouTube videos, based off of like 20 to 45 minute YouTube videos. But, um, I don't know. It's like, when I look at these videos, first of all, Clarence is from New York City. I'm from the South. And just from me knowing a few people that's from up North, like they are automatically they come off as kind of aggressive and like this cocky attitude like can't nobody touch me i'm all about i'm all about my money you know all of that so i feel like that's just like the new york in him i don't i don't feel like he is technically controlling and manipulative or none of that <clears throat> I saw a video last night about um, Queen and Claire and um, his their friend. What's his name? Um, I forgot his, the dude that be with them all the time. But they was talking to, I want to say like a hairdresser or something. They were supposed to do like a collab video. And the hairdresser was seeing how she didn't get paid. And Claire... They were saying how Claire was like talking over her and wouldn't let her talk. So they automatically knew like that's how he treats Queen. But it's like at the same time, I, you can't really say like that's how he treats Queen. Because he was just being, he was in defense mode. Like he was protecting his lady. He was standing up for his lady. I don't, I don't even know that situation either. Because I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to speak on something that I don't know about. You know, like... This girl could have been saying one thing. They could have been saying another thing. Don't nobody know the truth with them. So I'm not even going to put give my input on it. But I just feel really bad for Queen. Because I know that she's in a hard place. She got all these people coming for her. Saying like um, how she need. How she always feel like she need a man in her life. And how um, some people were saying how Claire don't. Um, don't treat CJ right. And it's like he be he be dismissing CJ, he be dismissing Queen. But I don't know. I don't really get that vibe. I do feel like Claire is a little like what's the word? What's a good term for it? He's not really I'ma I'ma say dominant. I'ma just say he's he's a very dominant person. And Queen is a little soft spoken compared to Claire. But I mean, like I said, I just feel like that's that northern, that's that New York mentality that comes out and kind of rubs people the wrong way. And then I saw people saying how Queen, before she met Claire, she was broke and she didn't have no money. And I'm just like, what? Like, what? How did y'all get that she was broke before she met Claire? Like, from my understanding, she had her own channel. Her channel was popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was doing good. She was flying back and forth. Like, how was she broke? I don't understand that. So, it's like people constantly making assumptions and starting false rumors and don't have no facts. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy to me. 
I don't know, it's crazy, crazy. I just feel really bad for her. I know I ain't about to come up here and change, change the YouTube world or nothing like that, but I just feel like I should give my input because, who girl, it's a lot. When you, when you in the spotlight, like it ain't no joke. It's no joke. People coming for you. You okay? You all right? People is coming for you, like, from all directions at all times, like, and that is just crazy to me. Come here. Say hey. 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 <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I just feel so bad for Queenie because I know she's in a hard place, and I know that, I know she's just sick of it overall, like, I know... Can, can mommy talk? Can mommy talk, please? You want to get down? Go play. Go play with your ball. Go shoot your basketball. Let mommy see. Your basketball. Let mommy see you shoot your basketball. But yeah, I know she's just... <clears throat> Even though, well, I'm sure by now she's learned how to ignore, like, the negativity that, that that she get from her channel. But it's just, like, at the same time, like, when it comes to you speaking, well, when it comes to people in general speaking down on you or your child or whoever you with, your relationship, saying all these crazy things that could possibly get him in some type of trouble, you know, if, if it, I don't know. I don't know y'all. I just feel bad for her. I feel so bad for Queen. Like, I hope that she just gets it. Just gets to a place where she's finally... I hope she's at a place that she's finally sincerely happy. And she's not putting up a front. Because... I mean, I do get that vibe that she feels like she needs somebody in her life. Which I'm hoping is not true but it's just like if if she if she want to be with him let her let her be with him you know what i'm saying like i'm hoping that he's treating her right <clears throat> i'm hoping he's not controlling her or manipulating her or you know abusing her mentally physically emotionally none of that like i hope that she's sincerely happy with him and um, I don't know her personally either. And I don't, none of, well, a few of her viewers, a majority, I ain't even gonna say a few, majority of her viewers don't know her personally. So we can't say like, look how she acting. Like, look how she acting now. And it's like, we don't know this girl's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know her like that to be saying, oh, look how she acting. Like, have y'all ever actually hung out with this girl like have you actually sat down and had a conversation and knew her personality like yes we know queen is goofy we know like she's like talkative and outgoing and all of that but at the same time like she just had a baby majority of her videos were made when she was pregnant like when you pregnant girl you tired like tired i don't feel like doing this i want to go to bed i'm tired i'm exhausted my body i'm carrying a five pound six pound baby in me like i am tired so no i'm not about to be full of energy and walking around skipping and doing jumping jacks and stuff like i'm gonna be chill i'm gonna be a little more chill than what i usually am <laughs> Y'all, I just feel so bad for her. Like, I hope, like I said, I hope she's just happy. I hope that it's not what people are saying. Because Queen done been through a lot, y'all. We know she done been through a lot with her past relationships. Like, I don't know. And that's another thing. Like, okay, when her, when her and her ex was together, I ain't, I ain't gonna say his name because, I mean, we all know who her ex is, but I just don't want to keep. I don't want to be that person to keep bringing her or involving her within, like, her ex. You know, like every time you mention Queen and Claire, it's like somebody says her ex's name. But even though I'm doing any, any, anyways. 
when she was with her ex, um, a lot of people, she did put on like a front because she wasn't happy. They wasn't in a good place, but they still made videos and all of that. So, I mean, I can kind of understand why people might say, oh, she might be putting up a front again. But the truth is going to come out, y'all. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to be revealed. And what can they say when the truth come out? Can't nobody deny it, you know? The truth is going to come out. It don't matter if, it, if it's from her, him, a friend, a family member, a dog, the baby. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's going to come out. So just like her and her ex, her ex's truth came out. This truth is going to come out. So in the meantime, just let them do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them do what they do. Live how they want to live. If they want to spend $600,000 $600, on the car seat, whatever. Even though, like, me personally, I think that was just like, it's just a car seat. But, you know, if they want to have the best with a child, long as the baby's safe. That's all that matters. It don't matter if it costs a billion dollars, as long as the baby is safe. So the last thing I want to talk about it's Cardi B, y'all. My girl, first of all, my girl got a Grammy for best album of the year. Like, yes, Cardi, you better work it. Now, with that being said, people is really making me mad because they are really comparing Cardi to Nicki Minaj. Saying how Cardi don't deserve her Grammy. Cardi don't write her music. Cardi blah blah. Like let, let this girl thrive, y'all. She, first of all, first of all, first of all, my girl made an album, did video shoots, photo shoots, interviews. My girl did a um a ASMR video. <laughs> A ASMR video all while she was pregnant. All while she was pregnant. Do y'all know how hard it had to be for her to do all of that work while she pregnant? Like, y'all don't give her enough credit. I mean, as far as her writing her own music, yes, yeah, she got writers. Who cares? My girl's still doing her thing. Like... Y'all are so, first of all, y'all so mean. But y'all are so mean. This, y'all made her delete her whole Instagram. Like, everything. She was lit. She was hurt. She was really hurt by the way she was being treated just because she won this Grammy. And I feel like it was well deserved. As far as her being the best female rapper and all of that, no, she's not. She's not the best female rapper, but she is a good entertainer. She's a good rapper. She makes good catchy music. And yes, I love all the ratchetness. I love it because she's one of those few people who can bring a little ratchet out of me. But um, people always compare her and Nicki Minaj. And Nicki, like, I just feel like Nicki, first of all, she's old. She's like, what, 30 I think in like her late 30s, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Y'all let me know. How old is Nikki? I think she's like around like between 35 and like 38-ish, something like that. But her being so mature age-wise, I feel like she should just shut all of that down. Like, let somebody else have a shine. Like, I'm not knocking Nikki. Nikki, she was bomb at one point, you know what I'm saying? But everybody got that high point in their career that they eventually fall fall down from, you know? Like, and Nikki already had her time. She had her time. She won her award. She got, well, she didn't get a Grammy, but she still got awards. Like, and I mean, even right now, it's still not impossible for her to maybe get a Grammy next year or the year after that. Like... Work hard, do your thing, make some good bomb music that is kind of in right now. Like, I feel like lyric, lyric type music, like with the good lyrics and all of that, it's not really in. That's my type of music, but it's not really in right now. So make something that you can go in the club and twerk at, that you can ride down the road, bless your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
make some music like that. But basically what I was getting to is Nicki being so mature age-wise, she should be that one to kind of be like, okay, y'all need to calm down. Like, I'm going I'm to tell her congratulations. I'm going to tell her congratulations on her Grammy. And leave it at that. You ain't got to, I ain't saying go and have a whole kumbaya moment and dance and dancing feathers and all of that like no i'm just saying tell her congratulations and i feel like just by her saying that her followers her um what's it called her barbies her barbies are automatically gravitate to what she doing and kind of fall back like cardi was really or still is really being bullied about winning this grammy y'all like she deleted her whole instagram and i swear i feel so bad for her I really do because this was such a big moment and I just hate that it had to get to that point where she felt like she couldn't show how happy she was without being bullied by society like it's really sad so um, I'm hoping she come back I'm really hoping she come back because she did not deserve that she she's another one the girl was a stripper Went from stripping, she went on Instagram. Oh, I've been following her since Instagram days, but when she used to make them videos, yes, that has always been my girl. But she was on Instagram making her little videos, got noticed from her videos, went to Love and Hip Hop, did her thing on there. Now look what she at. Like, she is doing so good for herself, and I hope she continue to succeed. I hope she continue to work her way up. You got rapping. You got your Grammys from rapping. Let's do a little acting. Let's do a little modeling. Let's do a little whatever else you want to do. Like, girl, do you. Yes. Make them coins. Make them money. And keep proving these people wrong. Because, obviously, don't nobody want to see her do good. People talk about her. At first, it was because of her teeth. She got her teeth fixed. Then, it was, um, now, well, now it's her accent. Like, how how can she have her accent? She's not dumb. Yes, she's goofy. Yes, she has a big personality. But if you really listen to some of her interviews, I forgot who she was doing an interview with, but girl was spitting fake straight facts. Like she's not dumb at all. And people try to downplay her because of her accent and some words that she may not be able to pronounce correctly. But <clears throat> When you have a certain accent, it's just some things you just can't get right. I'm country. It's a few words that I be kind of struggling to say. And, you know, I feel like I, I speak pretty good. But, I mean, y'all got to give her... Y'all gotta give my girl a break. Y'all gotta give her a break. I really hope she bring her Instagram back. Like, I hope she continue to thrive and do what she do. Because Cardi deserve it. She really deserve it, y'all. So, that's it for this video. I spoke on... Um, Queen, Clarence, and Cardi, those was the three people I wanted to talk about. I hope they all continue to succeed, y'all. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I'm going to continue to work on my editing skills so I can put out some good content. Y'all put down some things that y'all might want to see from me and Nala, or just me, or just Nala. <laughs> uh, down below, give me a little criticism. Don't be too hard, though. Don't be too hard on me. I'm just getting started. This is my real personality, so I can't change that. But uh, anything else as far as um, content and all of that, give me some some ideas on ways I can improve, some video ideas, what's popping right now, so I can make some videos on that. And um, yeah, we're gonna get this channel thing going. We're gonna get this YouTube thing going. What you got in your mouth? I gotta go, my child is eating something. Bye y'all.